You know, I… Uh, early on when I started first teaching, uh, it was like a crescent for me. I would ride on my motorcycle and teach in three, four cities. Hyderabad, Bangalore, Mysore, Mangalore, this was my route. This I'm talking, uh, what, nearly forty years ago <laughs> So, uh, when I was in Mangalore, Mangalore is uh, probably the only place or maybe one of the few places where there is a, a homeopathic, uh, you know, medical college. Uh, a medical college with master's degree and everything in homeopathy. So I met a doctor who was uh, over seventy years of age and he came to my program and we kind of… very nice man. And we met a few times and we had conversations. After a few years, uh, when I did not go back to Mangalore for almost maybe five, six years, then I just went back and I thought I should meet him and I went… walked into his clinic. He was still keeping a clinic, he was over seventy. As I was walking in, I saw an advertisement that somebody had put up some uh, local medicine which is a kind of an antidote for all kinds of snake venoms. I looked at this because uh, I know enough about snake venoms, I've been bitten by them. There are some which will affect your cardiovascular system, some will affect your neurological system. They're definitely different and they need different kinds of antidotes. So when I was in the course of conversation with him, I said, how did you allow this… somebody to put up this board in front of your clinic? Because somebody claims there's an a common antidote for everything. So he's a very wise man. <laughs> he said, uh, see, uh, the thing is, ninety percent of the snakes in India are non-poisonous. So it works ninety percent of the time. <laughs> <laughs>